Hi there, and welcome to another little uh, ZX81 video where I'll be showing you um, a game I've been working on for the past uh, couple of days. So um, this time I'm working on a an arcade version, a conversion of Bengo, which is the um, 1982 Sega arcade classic. Um, and for this, I've been watching YouTube videos to just see how the arcade game played and how it looked, and to try and sort of do the best I can with the limited graphics I have on the ZX81. So um, I've tried to implement as much of the functionality of the arcade game as possible, including the edges that stun the um, enemies. Uh, I've got the special blocks that you can line up um, in, in a horizontal or vertical line. I haven't got the check-in for that at the moment, but the blocks are certainly in there. Um, I've got all the collision detections in and, and the um, enemies are wandering around the maze chasing after the player far too fast at the moment, I'm going to have to slow it down for the, the earlier levels. Um, I've also got the enemies spawning in, um, and it flashes the tiles that they spawn in on, as in, as in the arcade. Um, and so you get a warning a few seconds in advance to let you know which blocks the um, snow bees are coming in on, and so that gives you a chance to destroy those blocks and stop one or two of the enemies spawning in. But as in the arcade original, other enemies do spawn in, Later, so that you've got three that start off uh, in the uh, in, in the room initially that spawn in, and then after that you get others that come in. There's another three that spawn in on the first couple of levels, and then after that it, it increases to five that, that come in. So you've got five secondary um, enemies that spawn in. So it's it's all fun and games at the moment. As I say, it's, it's far too fast. I'm going to slow it down, and it is very very difficult. But I'll I'll show you the the um, why it's working at the moment. There's still a, quite a bit of work to do on it. Um, but here we go. Um, let's run this. I haven't. There aren't any niceties in, so there's no um, game over message or when it kills you, it just moves you straight, goes straight back to the start again, without doing anything. So here you can see you can play with the edges and stun the enemies. Um, oop! He caught me. And then you can kill the blocks before the enemies have time to spawn in, and that's another way of knocking them out. And then at some point, there you get another one's flashing there, and he's going to spawn in. Um, these are the special blocks that you have to line up. Now the, the screen size is um, identical to the arcade, but um, turned through 90 degrees because that was just um, better for the ZX81s. Uh, display it, it just seemed to work really. Um, there's a tiny amount of vertical scrolling, not a lot as you can see. Uh, and so yeah there's, there's quite a lot of functionality in there. Oh, stuck there. Okay, so to compare that with the arcade original, um, let's have a look. So the enemies spawn in, you get to see them, you get a couple of seconds to maybe destroy them. And that's a very quick first level. 5,000 points bonus. Box crumbling, new enemies spawning in. So yes, I'll, I'll be putting something like that in as well, in due course. But um, yes, all, all good fun, so 
Um, let's get back to the um, ZX81 version. Um, let's uh, have a look at the um, spawn routine. Now here we've got the enemy table. There are three enemies in play, so we're checking all three positions. And we're checking to see if um, any of the, the enemies have been disabled, if they've been taken out in, in any of the ways that, that, that can be taken out. And if so, it tries to respawn the slot. At this point, it goes to the reserve enemy table with the, the, the backup enemies that spawn in. And there are up to five of those that it has to check. Um, and it's basically looking to see if any of those have been uh, still enabled. And if so, then it'll basically just transfer them to the uh, main enemy table and um, yeah fairly fairly straightforward but um, yeah that's just the way you, you have to write games on the uh, on the ZX81 you, you can't really use the index registers um, so you, you do have to keep tabs of your, your pointer and, and where you are which sprite you're pointing to in a table but yeah um, it uses the same um, screen dump routine as I used in Big Baps because it's vertically scrolling it's 32 um, blocks wide. Uh, it's just a slightly smaller screen than Big Baps had. Um, and yeah, that's that's all there is to it at the moment. I'm, I'm hopefully going to be adding some more code to this tomorrow. Maybe do the the code for those special blocks when they're, they're lined up um, in a vertical or horizontal um, set of three blocks and then do the uh, special animation there I think. But um, yeah just, just to let you know just to show you uh, the, um, the game I'm working on at the moment. Cheers.